Hi, welcome back. Now we're, I'm going to show you how to um, cut these things out. Um, I was interrupted before and um, what you want to do is you want to just trace these lines with a knife. Okay, I did two already. And then you want to do the top ones first. Alright, you want to just go all the way around to your first And then I'm going to show you how to cut this out. Okay, this takes a little bit of time, and just take your time when you do this. All right, you know, there's no rush with it. Then you're going to turn it around, and ever so carefully, just slice a little piece of it out, just like so. And if you can't, I'm sorry. And if you can't get it, you just re recut. Don't don't pull it off okay see how we got the one feather out and then you're gonna slowly do the next one like so okay yeah all right let me do this row and I'll show you how to do the next row okay so you're gonna just do a slight now if you make it a little bit deeper which I probably will will go back and recut it a little bit deeper like that then what we're going to do later is we are, I'm going to give it a little bit of a fluffy look. So we're just going to round those things off. So we're going to go around here. See if I can get this. And we're going to do the next section. <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so once you get that <clears throat> that row done, what you want to do is go back and see this this one here is your next top feather right here. All right, so this is the one you're going to start with. All right, so we're going to follow that. We're going to dig it up to to that one feather. You're going to follow that all the way around. And folks, make sure you have your glove on. Make sure your knives are sharp. And you're going to follow each one of those again, the same way you did the top row. You're going to do each one. I'm going to do this half to show you if I have time. Yeah, I do. And um, we're going to... You really need a good detail knife for this. If you don't, it is not going to work very easily for you. You'll be chipping it out and, and you may be saying a few choice words because of frustration. Okay, so <clears throat> what we want to do is we want to take out, first go underneath and take out that first, that first layer. Okay? You got to be careful because you got to flip your knife back and forth. Okay, and you're going to do that whole row just like I did here, the same way. All right, and I'm only able to see so much because of this thing being in the way here. But when you get up here, what you're going to do is you're going to chop that little. See, you did this line, and that was further. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your knife, and you're just going to follow that out. Just like so. See how we layered that? The same thing with the next row. So when you go back and you go to sand these things, that's when your nail file comes in real handy. And when I come back, I'll show you. I'm going to finish all this up and I want you to do the whole thing the same way I just told you. Do each row at a time. Then you do your next row. You start to do this row next, then this row, and then when we when you get those done, I'll come back and I'll show you how to do these bottom feathers here, and then we'll do the feathers on the end here. Okay, so it's slowly shaping up, and there's a couple of things we can do with this. We can leave them flat like they are, or you can round them off a little bit. They look a little bit more 
fluffier if you round them off, but you don't have to. If you don't want to put the time into it, that's entirely up to you. But once I get off here and I finish up this section here, I'll show you how to start this portion down here. And then I'll show you with a nail file how to file these down and get them a little bit rounded so they look nice. Okay, and then we there's no feathering done here. This is all going to be done with the wood burner. And then once we have all the feathering done and the tail done, the top and bottom, then we're ready to burn the bird. We're ready to do the wood burning. Okay, so a little bit at a time. And that's, see these here were done a long time ago. These were not really rounded very well, um, just a little bit. But this is what I'm showing you <clears throat> here. You're doing a top feather, you know, and then you're putting one underneath, one underneath each other. Okay, I hope you can see that. Let me see if I can bring that up a little. See how they, they look like they're laying over? See? And that's exactly how it's done. Now this won't be on there because that's not really a part of the chickadee. That was my own style back then. But um, that's what we're doing here. And that takes a lot of time. And then we'll go back and we'll burn everything. All right, folks, thank you very much for joining me. And we'll be right back.